So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is the Ryan here. And today we once again have another interesting theory for you all. Now this one is talking about the origins of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yes, and whether or not Fred Bear's Family Diner is actually part of the franchise or not. In Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Night 1, Phone Guy says, If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. Now we know Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to take place in 1994, well, this is speculated, yeah. based on the pay per hour and the check you get at the end of the week, it adds yeah. up to the year 1994. And it kind of, it represents almost like the minimum wage, isn't it, for yeah. how much someone could earn working for those sorts of hours. So this is based on more of a, a realistic theme, this whole theory. And this actually came from the game theorists. I'm sure you guys all know his theories on Five Nights at Freddy's. They're absolutely fantastic. And yeah. they've offered a lot of evidence towards Five Nights at Freddy's and cracking some of these hints and clues. Just going off a tangent quickly, there, there's a lot of people on Reddit saying that maybe Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is based in 2007. Mm. Mainly based on the fact that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is based in 1987. But we know this not to be true because there was obviously a Freddy Fazbear pizza to exist before then yeah. as well. Well, Which is interesting. Yes, yeah, so it was the grand reopening Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was. Yeah, and it also says grand reopening of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I mean, there could have been another Freddy Fazbear's Pizza before that. So, with this information in mind, if Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is based in 1994, could yeah. we then suggest that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza started in 1974? Yeah, which is quite interesting because that might mean that the whole shift of the franchise's name from Fred Bear's Family Diner to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza commenced between that time era and for it to have been around since 1974, that leaves around 13 years of just things we haven't seen before because, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 takes place in 1987. Yes, but this theory is actually suggesting that Fred Bear's Family Diner ha has actually nothing to do with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza because mm. I think in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Night 5, the phone guy says that they are going to get in contact with the original restaurant owners from Fred yeah. Bear's Family Diner. Well, he says in quotes, I think it's called Fr Fred Bear's Family Diner. Yeah. If it was part of the franchise, he would say something like, you know, the previous location or, you you know, other management on the yeah. other side, if you know what I mean. It doesn't make sense that he says the original restaurant owner and that he's trying yeah. to track him down. And what's quite interesting about this as well is that you have to understand the way the phone guy speaks this dialogue. When he kind of says the name Fred, Fred, Fred Bear's Family Diner, he almost acts like he doesn't know much about this and he's very kind of distant from the whole name and just the theme of it all, isn't he? Yeah, he seems like he's reading it off a script almost. Yeah. Like he's got a paper in his eyes, like, oh, Fred Bear's Family Diner. Exactly, uh, yeah. And it yeah. also says that that's been closed down for a few years now, and uh, he also states that it might be almost impossible to track down someone, so the whole idea of this franchise maybe ending over a decade ago could actually be a reality. And this may be extremely speculative, but basically I believe that the murder we see in supposedly Fred Bear's Family Diner in the yeah. uh, Death mini games, yeah. I believe that maybe that was motivated by business, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, this is an interesting concept. So basically I believe that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza wanted the establishment of Fred Bear's Family Diner, and in order to get that closed down, they had to do something very drastic in order for that to happen. Yeah. And maybe the fact that they can't find this original owner is because he was sent down for... A, to prison maybe for, possibly like, for the incidents that occurred and maybe just yeah. getting the blame for the deaths that someone else caused yeah so I believe that the pink guy may be working for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza but yeah. I think the person they may have hired to do this was actually just a, a psychopathic serial killer and it turned on them when he started killing children in their own establishments yeah I mean it's a bit kind of vague and it almost makes really no sense why this would happen I mean going back to the whole give cake to the children mini game and we have the crying child outside there seems to be a car that pulls up and a pink guy gets out and it's he seems to murder this child. It doesn't make sense, you know, if there was this establishment, this Fred Bear's family diner thing going on beforehand, and it doesn't make sense that both of these kind of establishments would have killers of some form or another, maybe just one, but you don't kind of have this reoccurring factor throughout multiple chains. So it could link back to the whole Freddy Fazbear's Pizza almost housing these killers and being sent out to, as you say, take down the whole Fred Bear's family diner name so that these guys could almost take over the franchise. Yeah, that's what I mean, and maybe that's why phone guys so hesitant on uh, the idea of the puppet because maybe mm. the puppet was originally from Fred Bear's Family Diner. Yeah. And they took it on and obviously he knows that something very wrong is going on with this puppet and maybe he's in on it somehow. Which kind of makes it a bit interesting because it then leaves more questions towards this pink guy, doesn't it? I know a lot yeah. of people are kind of saying the pink guy is the purple guy because he's younger, but I still don't think that really holds up. You've got to look at Five Nights at Freddy's 2 purple guy and then also the Definitely, purple guy yeah. in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. He looks very similar, so there's not really much changing going on here. So we have to remember that the colour schemes stay true and that maybe if this would have carried on, he would have been an even deeper purple, for example, but that wasn't the case. No. 
So there we have it, guys. There's once again another interesting theory for you all. This one was actually a really intense discussion talking about the origins of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and if there's quite a few little dark corners and things that we haven't explored yet. Comment down below what you did think of this theory. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating? And if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more theories like this and also some gameplay? So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And we'll, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?